Once you press stop on a recording, you are taken to the video page, which is the hub for everything you'll need to do with Screencastify. Click on a video's title to rename it. Choose something that'll be easy to find. Once you've done that, you might want to do some simple editing. Our lightning trim function allows you to move the scissors to the right if you just like to clip off a few seconds from the beginning of a video. Or move those scissors to the left if you'd like to clip off a few seconds from the end of the video. Once you're done, you'll get a message asking that you're completely sure about the trim. This will replace the original video on Screencastify and in your Google Drive. Once you're certain that your polish is perfect, go ahead and press save. Every once in a while, you might like more complex edits. To do that, open our browser-based editor by selecting Open an Editor on the top right, which will open up edit.screencastify.com. While our browser-based editor is a premium feature, everyone has access to a three-day free trial where you can go ahead and test it out for yourself. The editor allows you to cut things even if they're in the middle of a clip. In order to do that, Simply select the first part of the clip that you'd like to cut, then the scissors icon. Next, you'll decide where you'd like the next part of the cut to go. Go ahead and select there, hit the scissors icon again, and then you've created a separate clip in the timeline, which you can delete, move around, or anything else that you'd like to do. The editor also features the cropping tool, which is perfect if you need to get rid of certain things on the screen like sensitive information or anything else you'd prefer your audience not see. To crop a video, simply draw a box on screen around the part that you would like your audience to see. Everything that is not inside of that box will automatically be cropped out of the video. Our editor also features a tool to add text to a video. This is perfect for adding some additional context to your screen recording. You'd select what you'd like to say, then you can use our simple text editing tools to make your text bold, in italics, underlined, or even choose the font or where you'd like it positioned on the screen, whether that's the top or bottom of the screen, or left aligned, right aligned, or right in the center. Once everything looks the way you'd like, you can navigate to the top right of your screen, where you have two different options for saving. The first one allows you to save to Google Drive. When you do that, you get the opportunity to select whatever name you'd like. Then, pressing save will automatically begin saving that video to your Google Drive. Wait just a second for us to process the video, and then you'll be able to view it on Drive. When you select View on Drive, it will actually take you back to that recording's video page in the extension, which will allow you to share the video in whatever way you'd like. In our next video, we'll talk about sharing our videos from that video page. The other way to save an edited video is to select the cloud icon to the left of the Google Drive icon. Selecting that icon will allow you to save the video with whatever name you'd like, as well as downloaded as an MP4. This is perfect if you simply like to attach the video to an email message or send out through a file sharing service. That's it, you've completely edited your video. In our last video of this segment, we'll talk about sharing your video with your audience. I'll see you there.